What if humanity isn't the first advanced civilization to walk this planet, but only the latest in a long cycle of rise and collapse? Imagine digging deep into the earth and uncovering not just fossils of dinosaurs or ancient forests, but strange traces that should not be there. Metals shaped in impossible ways, fragments of synthetic material hardened into stone, or even a faint chemical signature that whispers of industries that thrived and then vanished long before us. It sounds like the plot of a science fiction novel, but this is a real scientific thought experiment proposed by NASA scientists Gavin Schmidt and Adam Frank, who asked the haunting question, if a civilization like ours had existed millions of years ago, would we even be able to detect it today? The unsettling truth is that the answer might be no, because Earth is constantly rewriting its own surface. Mountains rise and crumble, oceans advance and retreat, tectonic plates drag continents under the crust, and in the process, nearly all surface evidence older than about 200 million years disappears. To put that into perspective, the dinosaurs walked the Earth 66 million years ago, and yet even their bones are rare and fragile finds, discovered only by chance. Now imagine a civilization that may have existed 100 million, or even 300 million years ago. Their cities, technology, and monuments would almost certainly be erased, recycled by the churning processes of the planet. The pyramids in Egypt are about 4,500 years old, and already erosion, earthquakes, and looting have taken their toll. Fast forward millions of years, and they would be dust. Even modern skyscrapers, the tallest symbols of our era, wouldn't survive a million years, let alone hundreds of millions. Within just a few centuries, without maintenance, steel rusts, glass shatters, and concrete crumbles. Within tens of thousands of years, forests reclaim everything, seas rise and fall, ice advances and retreats, until almost no trace of humanity remains on the surface. But while buildings and machines vanish, civilizations leave behind fingerprints that can be harder to erase, chemical and geological markers, plastics, synthetic compounds, concrete, and even radioactive isotopes don't just vanish overnight. They become part of the sediment, fossilized in layers of rock that might persist for millions of years. Future geologists, or even future intelligent species, could one day stumble upon a thin but unnatural stratum in the Earth's crust, a layer full of microplastics, strange chemical compounds, and isotopes that nature alone cannot create. These layers would look odd, distinct, and unmistakably artificial. In fact, geologists today have already identified strange anomalies in Earth's history. Unexplained carbon spikes, sudden warming events, mysterious layers full of metals or isotopes that shouldn't be there. The Paleocene-Eocene thermal maximum, for example, around 56 million years ago, was a sudden and extreme global warming event marked by massive carbon release, ocean acidification, and rapid climate change. Most explanations focus on volcanic activity or methane release, but some scientists note that the event eerily resembles the kinds of chemical and atmospheric shifts industrial civilization creates. Was it natural? Almost certainly. But the Silurian hypothesis forces us to ask, what if it wasn't? What if some of these anomalies are actually the shadows of something we've overlooked? And then there are extinction events. Earth has had at least five major mass extinctions. The most famous is the asteroid impact 66 million years ago that ended the reign of the dinosaurs, but others were even more devastating. The Permian-Triassic extinction event 252 million years ago, often called the Great Dying, wiped out around 90% of species, leaving the planet nearly lifeless. Mainstream science attributes it to massive volcanic activity and runaway greenhouse effects, but what if it was triggered by the collapse of a civilization that had reached industrial levels long before us? A species that burned fuels, altered the climate, poisoned oceans, and eventually destroyed itself, leaving behind only faint chemical scars buried in the rocks. It sounds far-fetched, but it mirrors the very path humanity is walking right now. The Silurian hypothesis isn't meant to prove there was a lost civilization. It's meant to make us reflect on the fragility of ours. Imagine humanity disappearing tomorrow. Within a century, 
most buildings collapse. Within a thousand years, forests and deserts erase cities. Within 10,000 years, only the most durable structures remain. Stone carvings, maybe a few buried tunnels, and plastics sealed in landfills. Within a million years, almost nothing recognizable would survive. Yet some traces would persist. Plastics might transform into fossil-like deposits. Concrete could crystallize into new types of rock. Radioactive isotopes from nuclear power plants and weapons tests could remain measurable for tens of thousands of years, leaving behind clear markers that an advanced civilization once tampered with the planet. And if another intelligent species evolved in 50 million years, they might puzzle over a thin, artificial-looking layer in the rock and wonder, were we the first? This is where myths and legends enter the picture. Across cultures, we find stories of lost civilizations, Atlantis, Lemuria, ages of gods or giants who came before us. Most historians treat these as symbolic tales or cultural myths, but could they be faint echoes of something much older, passed down through fragments of memory, or even through the rocks themselves? Some researchers point to curious anomalies, metallic spheres found in ancient strata, out-of-place artifacts that defy dating, and ancient structures that seem more advanced than expected for their time. While most of these cases have natural explanations or turn out to be hoaxes, the Silurian hypothesis suggests we shouldn't dismiss the possibility too quickly. If there was another civilization, its evidence wouldn't look like skyscrapers. It would look like small, strange, out-of-place clues, easily overlooked, easily dismissed. Now, let's turn the mirror back on ourselves. Humanity is leaving behind a geological fingerprint right now. The so-called Anthropocene, a proposed new epoch in geologic history, is defined by our massive impact on the planet. Climate change, widespread species extinctions, and artificial materials scattered across every continent. Plastics are in the deepest oceans, the highest mountains, even in the air we breathe. Our nuclear experiments have scattered radioactive isotopes around the globe, and our carbon emissions are altering the atmosphere in ways future geologists will easily detect. If humans disappeared today, this fingerprint would remain. And if another species appeared in 10 million years, they'd debate whether these traces were natural or evidence of something like us. Which raises the ultimate question. If Earth has already had one or more civilizations before us, what does that mean for us now? Perhaps civilizations have a natural life cycle. They rise quickly, expand, dominate, and eventually collapse, leaving behind faint echoes that future species can barely detect. If that's true, maybe we aren't the first. Maybe we won't be the last. And maybe what we call human progress is just one spark in a much longer pattern, destined to fade like all the others. That's why this idea matters. The Silurian hypothesis isn't just about the past. It's about our future. It's a warning that civilizations might not be permanent. They flare, they vanish, and the planet continues on, reshaping itself, ready for the next. And so the haunting thought remains. Are we really the first and only advanced civilization on Earth? Or are we just another chapter in a book far older than we can imagine? The truth may never be known, but asking the question forces us to see our world differently. Every building, every machine, every bit of plastic is part of a record we're writing into the rocks. A story that may one day be the only evidence we ever existed. If this idea blew your mind and made you see history in a whole new light, hit like to support the channel. Subscribe if you crave more late night science mysteries that make you question everything you thought you knew. And share your theories in the comments. I read every single one. And who knows, your idea might inspire the next video.